Hello and welcome to CJC Adventures. Cole here and today I'm going to take a look at one of the most famous towns in Great Britain, Tipton. We're going to have to take a look at the past and we're going to take a look at the present and how things have changed over the years and how things, well, way they looked then and compare them to the way they look now. Basically, Tipton was nothing but mainly just a industrial town, if you like. It was full of foundries and coal mines and pits and factories and all of that since has basically near enough disappeared now. There's not a lot left, there's not a lot more to see from that era, if you like. It's just sort of gone by the wayside, if you like. But we're going to take a look at what it looked like then to where it looked like now. And I hope you will enjoy this little journey down memory lane as I'm going to learn with you because strangely enough I'm not old enough to remember way way back to what we're going to look at today here in Tipton. And we're going to take a look at the past and present, the then and now if you like. So let's go. Now the first picture we come to is Owen Street known for being able to buy anything from a pinhead to a tortoise. Back then, it was, the, well, I would say it was the place to go, it was the place to buy anything. And, you know, it had pubs, it had shops you could go into. Basically, there was just novelty shops and private shops to go in and buy anything you was looking for. If you was after a... For example, a book, you could go. For a washing machine, you could go. Back then, it was the place to be. Let's take a look at what it looks like now. And it certainly does look a little bit different. All the shops have gone, and there's barely any life left in Tipton at the moment, and it's likely never to come back. The shops which were here were built, well, maybe in around about the 1800s. They went into de decay and then they were just basically flattened and they were left for dead and houses was built and barely any shops still remain and whatever remain are closed. It's sad really for an industrial town like Tipton, a very famous town what deserves better really. But this is the view that we get today. Of course no visit to Tipton would ever be complete without taking a look and a, well, a look back at a pub which was actually three stories at one point, the Fountain Inn. Now it was roughly about built in about 1828, although that's just a rough diagram really. But the Fountain, we're going to take a look at what it looks like today. The Fountain as it stands today in Owen Street. Now there was shops joined to the as you look at it there, the right hand side, if you look at the top right hand window, that was actually a wet fish shop. Because all the shops used to go right the way down and literally they were just, you know, never ending. But the fountain as it stands today, of course, the three stories no longer there. It hasn't been for many decades. And of course, the headquarters to William Perry, the Tipton Slasher. Now on the 24th of June 1994, a visit from Her Majesty the Queen. She came to Tipton and she came to Owen Street, a part of the Tipton Challenge Partnership. She unveiled the plaque and the scenes in Owen Street were literally just, well, as you can see from the picture, there were literally thousands of people. I was glad to see her. She's the only royal I've ever saw as, as of today, but uh, she came in the royal car, she waved, I remember she looked at me and was waving, and uh, yeah, certainly a memorable visit from Her Majesty the Queen. Never forget that back in 1994. This is the actual road that she came down that day. I remember standing here with my mom and we stood by what's the job centre now. I think it was a job centre then and 
and then she came up in the royal car and very nice day the sun was shining i remember that very very well I actually see a heron and he's after his fish off the canal Sort of say hello. Now the picture you see here, the actual house, the white house that you see, is still there. And take a note of the wall as well. You can see the factory in the background. That factory with those barrels as well on the left is no longer there. But let's take a look at what it looks like now. And not much has changed, would you believe, as we just go around where the fountain is, and this is where you'll find this picture today. Now you can't match up quite a lot here, of course the factory's gone, a lot of those barrels you can see on the left have gone, houses has been put up in place of that factory what was there. But you can see just beyond the trees, that's the actual house, the white house, what was on the picture. Still the same house, it's had a lot done to it, but it's covered more by trees today. And you can see this wall, this is the actual wall taken from that photo, and that photo dates back to about roughly the 1920s, probably before that. Just think what that wall and that house and still surviving really could tell you in stories unbelievable another old picture you'll find of Owen Street and you can sort of track it down by the church that's the first thing that comes to mind along with the buildings just take a note of that building on the in the middle that says Tipton Herald let's see what it looks like now and this is the sort of view that we get now. The Tipton Herald, as I mentioned, is a Chinese restaurant. That is still, well, they all are, they're still the same buildings. But things have changed, even though they don't look much different, they have changed. You can identify it, of course, by the church. It's still there, I'm glad to say. Now this is Albion Street and the building that you can see there is the Albion Pub. Now that stood on the corner of Albion Street, it was a very popular pub and well basically my mum and dad they had their wedding reception upstairs in that pub. Next to it was a soap factory, you can just see it there on the left. But it was something that I don't remember. Again, I'm not old enough. I only wish I was. You can tell, because in the top left hand corner you can see the church. So, you can identify it from that. Believe it or not, this is the view that we get today. That was where the Albion pub stood. Right on the corner and left to it was the soap factory. It's hard to believe really, you can see the sign just down there at the end of the road, it's got Albion Street on there. And the, that was where it would have been, that you could see the corner of the church, that's how you can identify where it was. Now the next picture, as you can see, is a bridge with a chimney and a pub called the Globe Inn, which a lot of people don't really remember. It was basically the canal would run through here, and that canal is sadly no longer here. It doesn't run this way, it was diverted. Let's have a look at what it looks like now. And believe me, it's changed a lot. Well, I did say it's changed a lot. There was where the bridge used to be. There, on the left, was where the pub used to be. And... It's just a hairdresser's there now. It used to be Pullinger's electrical shop. But, as you can see, a lot's changed. This road was actually a canal. And it used to run all the way back to the canal. 
in Owen Street, which is still there, but it was actually diverted so they could build that road. It's sad, really, because that bridge, you know, the canal ran under it, and as you go further up that way, you do actually come out into a canal. So this was all a canal which ran from there all the way to the back. So this is the view that he had on that particular screenshot, on that photo. So, you know, not a lot to match up these days, is there? <laughs> not even the trees are the same. Now this next photo is actually Copy Street. And take a look at that building on the left. Take note and take a look at the cobbles. Now here, a bit's changed. But it's one of those pictures where some of it's changed and some of it is still recognisable. So let's see what it looks like now. Now this is the actual view that we get today. That building, as I mentioned, on the left is still there. That was known as Perry's Cafe. It's been a few restaurants and takeaways since then. It's actually closed at the moment. On the right, that building's no longer there. And those buildings you see in the distance, that was Eads Chemist. But even those buildings are different. And all this was cobbles. And those cobbles, if you want to still see them, along with the drain cover, what was here, and the Black Country Living Museum in Dudley, just up the road from Tipton, less than two miles away. But this is Copy Street. This is the side of that building. You can just see the Copy Street sign, which of course has seen lots of times. That is still here. You can just see it just there. Now, as we come back to Union Street, this is what Union Street looked like then. You can see a little sign on the left. It says the news of the world. You can just see which says world. And you can see all those buildings on the right. Some of those are still the same. Those are flats. They're still flats. Um, but really, a lot has changed on that street, even though you can still see the shape. Um, but looking at it then, it does actually look as though, well... Not much has changed, it's just to be quieter these days, except for the traffic. And this is actually what it looks like today. Those buildings that you can see further on, that was an actual co-op that was moved there after being in its former location further up in the town. That's since closed. All these buildings, these flats on the right that you can see are still the original buildings. That on the left, the Union pub is no longer a pub, it's a nursery of some sort. So, lots of changes, but still, well, some of it's still the same, which is nice to know. Now, Tipton is known for its sportsmen, basically famous sportsmen, one of them being David Burrows, who played for Coventry City, Steve Bull, who played for Tipton Town, West Bromwich Albion, notably more for when he played for Wolverhampton Wanderers, but more notably Jack Holden, seen in this picture. He's a champion runner and he lived from 1907 to 2004, breaking many records in Brussels and Auckland in New Zealand. Great sportsman. Seen here is the plaque that he unveiled himself. Always good to have a famous person to, well, basically show that Tipton's not all about industry, it's all about sport as well and other things. So. This is actually the Jack Holden Gardens, named after him. Proper everlasting. Now this is what Tipton Baths actually looked like back in the day. You could go in that front door there on the right, 
the girls changing rooms would be on the right, the boys would be on the left, there'd be a counter to pay your money, also on the left, and the baths would be straight on, and there'd be a small end further on at the back, on the right, you could see that clock above it, and taken out of the wall. Now sadly, this is all that remains, the wall itself. This was actually going to be a nursing home when they pulled the baths down. It's a sad sight really because it was such a lovely stone building, it was well built. They used to have dances here as well back in the day. You could have lots of different celebrities would come here. And to see it like this is real, real shame. But they say there was a nursing home going to be built here, but for the past couple of years nothing's happening. I don't know what's going on. Now Tipton does have a railway station of sorts. This was taken in the 1960s, I believe. You can still see that steam train and the station on the left. Let's go and see what it looks like today, shall we? Long gone, the steam trains. Still the same building, though. Still the same ticket office. Now Tipton had a level crossing. Now back in the day traffic didn't need to get through like it does now but for many years it went on since before the 60s and it backed up traffic for over a mile sometimes longer and since then a tunnel has been built to well divert traffic and you can go under the subway if you need to. Let's take a look at what it looks like today. A lot different. That is where the crossings once stood, either side, they would be backed up, but they have since built this tunnel which takes you to the other side now, it took a long time for them to do it, you can go under the subway if you need to, walking wise anyway. Now just near Owen Street, off Sedgley Road West, stood this builder's yard. Of sorts, Britain may a wood yard. I do remember this. This was there for many, many years, you can see from the brickwork. And the brickwork itself matched the rest of Owen Street. Sadly, no longer there. Let's take a look at what it looks like today. This is actually the view you get today, replaced by apartments and new homes for different people. Now this is Park Lane School, a very old school. My mum went here, and my brother went here, and um, a lot of people who you would know even today went here, including Justin Haywood, who was also the lead singer, wasn't he, of Moody Blues, Moody Blues in the 60s. Yes, that Justin Haywood went to Park Lane School, otherwise known as just Park Lane things go, yes, you might have guessed it, it's changed hasn't it, quite a lot. Lord Silver Trees Academy Trust these days and looks nothing like it did before when it was Park Lane School. Sad really, I don't actually remember it, but it's nice to have pictures from the past isn't it, from those of you who do remember it. Now this is actually Tipton Green Methodist Church with a big spire on. He tells a little bit about it there. It's had a lot done to it since and it's quite shocking what it looks like today actually. Let's go and surprise ourselves. Well this is it today. That was the church. As you can tell it's a completely different building. It looks nothing like it did. The actual annex on the side is still the same building, even the tiles are the same. Whereas for the church, no. The spire that you can see on the top, I think that was from the original church, but that's about it really, apart from the annex, which is next to it. A Red Lion pub, back in its heyday. And this is what it looks like now. It is a real sorry sight. 
Still classed as Tipton's oldest pub even though it's not open. Let's go and see why. The blue plaque is still there but the pub's not open. It hasn't been for a long time. I don't know what's going on to be honest. The oldest pub is actually the Fountain Inn as we've seen. Now this is the actual Tipton Canal. And this is actually all different these days. If you look at the middle part of the bridge, it is still the same bridge, but back then it's mostly worn and steel. And let's take a look at it now. It does actually look a lot different. But as I mentioned, if you look at that middle part, what's shaped like the front of a barge boat, or a canal boat if you like, it's still the same. They've actually just chopped it off, built this bridge, and just left that there. Why not? It's nice to actually know that some of the remnants of the past is still where they should be really. But I suppose in a canal it would be more work than it was worth to take it away. And Still, it looks better the way it is, doesn't it really? And it's, uh, but nothing against this bridge, it's quite nice, it's quite strong looking. Uh, probably too modern I suppose. The former Tipton Library I think the council runs still. There hasn't been a library for a few decades now. It's some sort of offices. Let's go and take a look at what it looks like now. Very nice building. It's a shame that it's not been utilised or used for anything. It's actually how you can tell that it used to be a library, free library, which you don't see very often nowadays because everybody knows libraries are free to rent books as long as you live in the area. And that's it for today on CJC Adventures. Hope you've enjoyed this little look into the past and present. And Hopefully, we've got a good future coming. This was part one. Stay tuned for part two on CJC Adventures. Until next time, please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It's all helpful, and goodbye for now.